running the desert out here in Apache Junction. It's wild, but it's uh, true that I miss New York. Running down, thinking about the runs there, how different that was. Seeing people, for instance. <laughs> I did see one guy on a mountain, but uh, you know, life isn't forever, and it's like I want to see as much of the world as I can and experience as much of it as I can. You know, it's like this is the experience now, but what's a trip is having like a 25 year. City life, and uh, thinking about um, that's it's gone now. I mean, not that I can't go back to New York. I'm sure I probably will. Uh, I definitely will go back there. I'm sure I'll probably live there again at some point, maybe. But uh, when you think about how finite life is and you sort of meditate on the, on death and, and transition and when you move that's a place to do that because you're capping a huge chunk of your existence I want to get the sunset in the shot <laughs> you know it's like all those memories all those events all those dog nights watching Netflix those drunks, all those drugs, all those sobrieties, all those meetings, all those relationships, gone, you know, and you carry them with you in your heart, but memory is also just such a fleeting thing. And then you can get stuck in nostalgia when you're in this environment be like oh but this isn't New York this isn't running in Brooklyn this is a desert <laughs> but <laughs> this is called Apache Junction I mean I'm an Indian out here y'all is that cancelable did I say something bad probably <laughs> I don't mean it uh, no but uh I mean, it's celebration of the warrior spirit is the heart of what I was just saying there with 100,010 million percent respect to all Native Americans. It's called Apache Junction. I didn't name it that. And this, is, <laughs> this, is, this is Indian land. Or, you know, once was. Anyway, moving on. Look at the shadow. And your shadow follows you around everywhere. The shadow of a guy filming himself with an iPhone. That's an embarrassing shadow. But it's a shadow nonetheless. Anyway. So, what I was trying to say is, then, uh, this will be a, a vehicle for nostalgia in the future. It'll be like, remember when I was out in the desert running around in the desert? Remember that? That's no more. That'll never be again. Sorry about the wind. Check this out when you run. Didn't really do it. I was expecting big plums of smoke and sand. Not smoke, but sand. This is probably gonna be terrible audio-wise. Anyway, if it's bad audio, I'm sorry. Point being is, uh, live in the moment and enjoy every moment of your life and remember how valuable all the moments are because they're here today gone tomorrow i honestly been doing a lot of work today and i rode by i 
ran by this. Happy birthday, make a wish. Surprise, celebrate. You might think that's just litter left out here in the middle of the desert for some strange birthday party that I wasn't invited to. I think of it as a message from the universe telling me I'm going in the right direction and happy birth of this new day. <laughs> what do you reckon they're doing with this stuff? I think they're blowing stuff up or shooting stuff up. I don't know what that is. Anyway, I guess that's about that. I think I'm training for a marathon. No, I am training for a marathon. Me and my friend Rich, we've decided to run a marathon. And so I came out here to run and start, let the training begin. I think it's the Mesa, Arizona. Yeah, Mesa Marathon coming up. We're gonna run it. Ho'opono pono, y'all. You know, get on your good foot. And if you're in, in anger or fear or worry, get yourself happy. Ho'opono pono and oxygen. Oxygen is the best antidepressant. Either Wim Hof and a cold shower with the 30 times and then hold it and do like four sessions of that or go on a run. It helps. And just remember that life is fleeting and a gift. And let the nostalgia guide you to live fully this moment here now for the nostalgia will one day come for it too.